Hello and welcome to a new video. Video I would like to add something new, which is also showing tutorials along with my contraptions. Wait, the contraption that I will show you it's a hidden workbench, which means that the contraption that basically hides the workbench when you are not using it. There is the floor. The workbench gets hidden beneath the floor. So I activate the generator, the workbench pop pops, pops up. I activate it again, it gets hidden. So it's basically a block switcher. So every time the yeah, I activate it, the block switch. So you have the block that the floor is made of that it will Switch it for the workbench, if you, and if you have the workbench here, it will switch to the block. So, try to explain how it works. So, do that. I will slow down time. Thirty base five. Now, if I activate this generator. This piston retracts so that this piston gets activated. It's basically at the same time, piston extends. Then it here. The workbench can be used. Basically, the same thing happens when I activate it again. Activate it. This piston retracts, but this time this piston will extend. So now we will have the oak plant instead. It's every time, so it retracts. Thanks. The important part of it is are these two pistons and regulator. This Regulator is basically used to decide which these two generators gets activated. If the regulator is here, this generator gets activated. That this piston get pushes. So it so it means that the oak plants repl replace the workbench, and also this piston. Activate it again. This piston's activated. This generator gets that air activated, which activates this piston. So this regular gets pushed to the side. And now that it's here, it will activate this generator, which will activate this piston. And this piston. So this piston will the workbench. So place the hook planks and also the piston will activate it, which will push this regulator here. It's not too hard anyway. I'll try to explain to make it. To make it, you need three generators, four, four iron pistons, one regulator, some building blocks, a golden piston, three transformers, workbench, of course, and three cocks. Anyway, next up, I will show you how to build this thing. I was planning to do it differently, but I decided to change it. Anyway, Let's pretend that this is the floor beneath which you will be hiding the workbench. Let's say that this stone is the workbench. So the first thing you'll do is place a golden piston such that it is that there is one block between one block gap between it and the floor. 
be one top cap. Next up, we'll place two iron piston. That there is three block gap between them. One cap and the golden piston is in the middle. And right above the floor, like this. We to do next is extend this piston by right clicking it. Next, you'll place a block here or here. Then I'll place it here, but you can also change things so that you can also place the block here, but you'll need to change a few things. Let me, this block should be this, this basically the block that will replace workbench to activate the device. Let me mix up our place generators. First generator will be next to the head of the golden piston. Second generator will be next to one of the iron pistons. And the third generator will be here. We'll also place fuel on them ahead of time. Okay. Next up are two other iron pistons. First one will be below the left generator. Second one will be like this diagon of the right generator. You also need you also need another block <clears throat> you also need another block to power this this piston because like this the generator one power this piston so uh, I'll place transformer here while I'm at it I'll place the other transformers first the second transformer will be here and Last one will be here. Stop. Place the box because this generator needs to power this piston. The only way I found to do how to do it was using box like this. And lastly, will be the regulator. <clears throat> At the beginning of it. Sort of at the beginning of the tutorial, I said that you can place this, this floor block either here or here. If you place it on the on the left side, then you should place the regulator this on the left side with, with some other block next to it. And you place the floor block on the right side over here you will need to place regulator like this that way the regulate the regulator is sort of always on the same side as the floor block floor block so what you need to do next is uh, Oh, the last thing that you need to do is activate these freeze generators because the thing with generators is when you first activate it, activate them while next to the transformer, they will immediately, immediately, immediately turn off. You do it next, you activate them after that, and there will be a delay before they get deactivated. Just saying. Just as it should be. Hopefully, the tutorial makes sense. There is one last thing that I would like to mention. As you might have noticed, when I was activating this contraption, it was always activating this generator. This is because I haven't yet found a good way to activate it while having having it. <clears throat> hidden. That's because I really don't want to have like a generator 
or anything like that exposed, which could like which could create this contraption. Only good way of doing it was by having it next to the wall. So then that this is the floor wall. You can place a detector, the middle generator. And when you approach it, it will get activated and blocks get swapped. And if you want to avoid accidentally activating it, you can have some fences, probably. Anyway, kind of sad. It's able to make this reception, but didn't come up with a way to activate it. Anyway.